Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Talisha, also known as Creativity by T. And then today I am coming to you with the infamous Hobby Lobby new look 99 cent sale pattern haul. Okay, do I need any more patterns? Absolutely not. And I thought that when I made my last pattern haul, which was the big five pattern haul that I did from simplicity.com that I just posted on Friday, I thought that that was going to be the last large pattern haul for a while, but who can resist 99 cents, right? So I went ahead and I took advantage of the pattern sale. When I walked in Hobby Lobby, I went straight to the back where the patterns are and there was a black like iron uh, five or six tier little rack that had 99 cents and all the patterns was on there they were uh, marked down with the little red sticker 99 cents so you could not miss it you could not miss it at all so if you have the opportunity to pick some up for 99 cents it is definitely worth the haul okay so go ahead and pick you some up I hope I picked up some unique ones. I hope there's something in here that you'll like. And just let me know in the comments below if you like anything that I picked up and what you'd like to see me make. And I will go ahead and get started with this haul. I'm not going to go into very much detail because people have been hauling like crazy <laughs> from this sale and I don't want to bore you. But I do did want to share with you what I picked up in case you, you know, want to go get something yourself or you see something that you like. So again, I'll go ahead and get started and I'll see you at the table. Bye. So this first pattern that I have is New Look 6390. This is a dress and jacket pattern. I like it because I like this particular style of jacket and I love view C which is the blue right here and I think it's super cute. I also love the other views which are views A and B because I like how maybe I could make something that has lace at the top and you know just make it really fancy. I could definitely make this my own and I absolutely love it. So let me show you the line art. So here is the line art in the back and it just looks the way, it, you know, it looks on the front. So super, super simple. And this does call for woven fabrics. So this next pattern is New Look 6407. And this is a button front shirt pattern. I really like it. I'm really into button front patterns. I don't make them a whole lot because of the time it takes to make them. But I do like them and I like my options when I do get time to make them. So this one has several different views. It has four different views. There's A, B, C, and D. And I know one of the views view uh, E. No, actually five views. Um, but sorry you can't see view E that well because um, that reduced sticker that's on all of these new look patterns is right in the way. They should have probably thought that out a little bit better and put it in the open space but whatever. Anyway um, I like it because you know it just looks really really nice. Um, there's the darts in there to kind of help with shaping that will give you a more tailored look and uh, I do like this idea here for contrasting. Super cute. It does say easy. And so I'm assuming that there's going to be some easier techniques in there to make sure that people uh, can get it made easily. So let me show you the line art in the back. And this is your line art in the back. And this is also calling for woven fabrics. So here is another button front shirt. And this is New Look 6394. This is also labeled as easy. And I really like all of the looks actually in this. The one reason why I picked it up for <laughs> is for the one that is covered with that Clarence sticker, View A. But it's basically the uh, view with no sleeves. But I do want to put the regular collar and collar stand on there, or however the collar is constructed. I do want the regular collar. I don't um, particularly like it when it's just the stand. So that's why I picked it up. I had, a long time ago, I had a shirt like that and I really, really enjoyed it. And so, you know, while I might have something in my stash, nothing stood out for, to me. So for 99 cents, I went ahead and picked it up. And so I, I will show you the line art in the back. And so here is the line art in the back. And this also calls for woven fabrics. And then you can just kind of see this here. And so this one does have a um, 
pleat in the back as well. So it has a pleat in the back and it also has a yoke. And then these other views, uh, well, at least view C and D, they do not have a pleat. So yeah, you definitely got options with this pattern. Okay, so now we have New Look 6561. This is another shirt pattern, but I like the little pocket detail and I like the length of this pattern, which is the reason why I picked it up. And it just looks a little different. And so um, I thought like, why not? And I really love how the model is styling it with it tied in the front. That's something that I do very often um, with my shirts just for styling purposes. And so yeah, definitely didn't want to leave that behind. I like uh, the collar on it and I believe I'm not really sure if it has a collar stand I think it does and so yeah definitely want to get this for the 99 cent price and I personally think I would probably make like view a which is the red and the green example here and the model has on C which is the shorter version but she does have it tied up but I'm kind of into these oversized long um, button French tops and so I just thought that this st the style of the pockets will give it another twist if I have several of them so that they wouldn't all look alike so let me show you the line art in the back okay so here is your line art in the back and of course this does call for woven fabrics and this bus actually goes up to size 51 so if you know with new look patterns they usually don't uh, go up very high in size so definitely pick this up for 99 cents if you are one that needs a larger size okay so this one is new look 6615 Everyone should probably know by now that I am a dress girl, especially in the spring and summer. Love me a good dress. I thought this was super cute. I am big busted, but I feel like the scallop um, edges come up high enough up top to where I could feel comfortable. And if I use it, use like a like a woven fabric with a little stretch, you know, that fits me really, really well, then this could be a really good look. So the view that I would go for is view C right here because I prefer more of a flare because I don't have like that hourglass shape and I don't have hips. So um, styles like this to kind of flare out really work for me. So I like that. But I also like view A up here. I like that for the summertime with a little bit of a flare and maybe shorten it just a little bit, you know, just to kind of give like a summer dress vibe look. Um, but I do like this, this bodice here. So that's the reason why I picked that up and I'll go ahead and show you the line art in the back. So here is your line art in the back. Um, this bus size goes up to a size 47 and then the 20 is a size 45. So I'll be able to fit that one perfectly. And so again, to start off, I'll probably make this here, this bodice with this skirt, maybe a little bit shortened. The next pattern is New Look 6614 and this is a dress pattern as well. There is like a straight fitting type of uh, dress with straps and then you have your wrap style. I picked it up for the wrap style. I think this is so so cute. The largest bus size is a 45. I am a 45 so I am like <laughs> right there at the end of this pattern but I'm glad I was able to pick it up. I don't have anything like this in my stash and so I definitely want to give it a try and it looks like it's going to be an easy make and this view B here is the one that I'm going for. I do like the other uh, dresses but I just see myself making this view B and so let me show you the line art in the back. So here is your line art in the back and what I like um, about this is that view A has like this little tie and I could possibly put that into uh, the pattern for view B but I don't think I'll need to because it has that wrap but you know there are options here like I said and this does call for woven fabrics. This next pattern is New Look 6597 and this one is says easy just for knits and so I picked it up for basically view C here. I do believe that I have patterns like this in my stash or at least there's like a view that is similar but I went ahead and picked it up because I couldn't think if I did for sure off the top of my head uh, what I like about this pattern is it does have like a flare at the bottom so it's not a straight um, knit you know form fitted I don't mind it being form fitted at the top but then when it comes to the waist on down I prefer a little bit of a flare and so that's why I picked it up and I do think this is kind of cute but I don't know that I would make that one um so basically I'm just here for C. 
So let me show you the line art in the back. So here is your line art in the back. And again, it does call for knits, okay? And so um, I have a lot of those, but because I don't like things clinging to my body, I don't, I don't usually buy a whole lot of patterns for knits. And so I was kind of, you know, made a deliberate decision when I picked up this pattern. Okay, so now we have New Look 6340. This one is also labeled easy and it certainly does look easy. I like View A, B, C, D. This is just a simple, easy woven dress pattern. And I like it. Sometimes it's just the simple things. Again, I like how this has a flare to it uh, because I don't necessarily need that boxy look because of, you know, how my current shape is. So um, definitely wanted to get this pattern for 99 cents. And uh, this one has like a hanger handkerchief type style. So super cute. Um, but the model is really giving, you know, a spring, summer, cute chic vibes in this uh, look so let me go ahead and show you the line art so here is your line art in the back and as you can see that there are ties that are attached to the dress so that helps with you know giving you a more figured type of look you know you can cinch it in really well uh, and it kind of works as like your belt and so yeah super cute and it does call for woven fabrics all right, so this next pattern is New Look 6607. Absolutely think that this is cute. I believe it is a jacket pattern. And I'm feeling it for how the model is styling it. Love it. She is wearing, well, I don't know. I'm assuming she's wearing View B. The sticker, I think, is covering up. But I believe she's wearing View B. That's why I got it love it I have so many fabrics that look similar to what she is wearing and I think this would be nice in like the fall in the winter as well um, with that type of fabric it would go well you know with a regular like denim or something like that it'll be look, it'll look cute in that as well but for me since I have those other type of fabrics this is what that is why I purchased it so let me go ahead and show you the line art in the back so here is your line art in the back and as you can see there's some cute detail it looks like a peplum in the back here super super cute and b would go all the way you know to here so it's a little bit longer than than view c and but it has all of that detail so it's some kind of gathering on the sides and then gathering in the back where the peplum is and then i would make the sleeve as well this calls for woven fabrics and silky types um, as well. So and we have New Look 6447, which is another dress pattern. I'm pretty sure by now you all know which one I picked it up for. And I picked it up for View D, but I honestly like View C's cap sleeves as well. So I made a, might even use that. And I do fit into this pattern well i do have to check out the midriff because as you can see it's like a different pattern piece and i want to make sure that that's going to work for me because that is the area that i have my biggest concern in so i will see but for 99 cents i said why not because i love 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 this style of dress and i felt like i why not get it even though i picked up a couple of others so let me go ahead and show you the line art so here is your line art in the back and the and although i have picked up other patterns that look similar to this it that's either in my stash already or in this particular haul i don't believe any of them have a v back so that's going to be unique and i don't think it goes very low so it won't show my bra so i'm really feeling this um this does go up to a size a bus size of 45 and a half as you can see i'm a 45 so that would be the size that i'd make and so yeah barely fitting into this but um i i think i want to go with the polka dot look but anyway this uh calls for a woven all woven fabrics as well okay so now we have new look 6449 this is labeled as easy so we have a button front a shirt dress we have and regular woven um, dresses as well so this is a very neat pattern you get two different types two different styles i should say of dresses and so this would be a good pattern for those that are you know wanting to just make regular looks and also want to dabble into the button front as well you you get a twofer and then you can kind of take your time and, and get it done but 
for me in particular I do like the uh, button front view C in particular which is what the model is wearing and I you know I'm not opposed to the other styles but I did pick it up for view C I do have patterns like this but I couldn't resist so anyway let me show you the line art in the back so here is the line art in the back and see as you can see back here you do have a pleat for the back and then you have um, the tabs for the sleeves so that you can kind of roll them up and then you also have a belt this is um, for views A and B those are for knits okay so you're not using fabrics for that I mean woven fabrics I'm sorry and I was kind of wondering like why would they have button front shirt that we know is a woven fabric with that but no A and B is for stretch knits only and then views C and D which are your button fronts are for woven fabrics so that's pretty neat too, you know, to have a woven pattern and a knit pattern all in the same one. So, you know what? I don't know. I might go ahead and sew this one up since now that I know it's a knit and I won't have problems getting it over my body. Okay, so this next one is New Look 6398 and this is a kid's pattern. And if you saw my last pattern haul that was just posted on Friday you would have saw where I picked up a blazer family blazer set um, where there's blazers in there for everybody in the family that just came out by simplicity but I picked this up in addition because this one has a uh, vest that are in my children's sizes and if I feel like I don't you know maybe necessarily want to get to making all of those blazers or if I run out of time making vests is would be another option and what I'm referring to is the garments that I make for us to take our family pictures during vacation again if you didn't watch my last video watch it and you'll see those photos where I made us something out of the same fabric and then you know when we're on vacation we take those photos but not only does this have the vest it has like a jacket so like sleeves to go along with it it has these t-shirts it has shorts I don't have any girls but does have a skirt and it also has pants so I thought this was a good package to get and it goes up to size 7 for children and here's the line art in the back and it calls for woven fabrics okay so now we have new look 6566 as you can see there's several different looks here you have view A which is like a long shirt with slits and view B is just a cut off version of that and then you have your pants the pants are the same view I picked this up because my friend Martika of Martika J makes has made this before I thought it was gorgeous I do have the beauty Jador pattern which I could actually hack real easily and make this pattern but it's 99 cents so why not right <laughs> why take the time in, for, in trying to figure out how to hack into the length and all that well actually it wouldn't be a big deal it's just the slits going up high but anyway I purchased it but I also get the pants as a bonus so um that's the reason why I got it and let me show you the line art in the back so here's your line art in the back and it does call for woven fabrics and then view b and A which are the tops also you could you know you could you can use gauze or jersey so then I picked up new look 6546 this is another easy pattern it's a super cute kimono there's pants here with pockets and view A is just like a long wide strap tank and it's super easy you can build a nice little wardrobe set with this and that is why I picked it up love it think it'd be you know nice for work or just every day very good wardrobe builder um, when you're trying to make things easy and so let me show you the line art in the back so here is your line art in the back and views a and b calls for stretch knits only and then view c calls for the woven fabrics next up is new look 6608 and I don't know that I've seen this one before in new look um, but I picked it up because I really like the hobo type look that it's vibe that it's given and so yeah that's why I picked it up so you have a tank and you have like a open cardigan that ties or open shirt however you want to describe it and then you have your pants that have like this pleat deal in the front so it kind of gives it you know like even though it's easier to make it's giving you some you know more tailored type of vibe so I really like that and I could see myself making that whole set as well making the whole entire pattern so let me show you the line art in 
the back so here is your line art in the back and as you can see here you get two different sleeves for this um, for that open cardigan so you have your regular bell sleeve and then you have more of a bishop type style of a sleeve and then your pants here as you can see they're all elastic but you get that cute detail in the front and then you have your pockets and then view a is for stretching its only is in view b c and d are for going to be like your woven types of fabric so now we have a new look 6600. This is another dress pattern. This is woven and it is a wrap style of dress. Super cute. And to be honest, I mean, there's view A, B, and C, and I like them all. I really can't tell what the difference is between view B and C because on here they look the same length. And I'm not really seeing anything different, but maybe I will once we look at the line art because I haven't really looked into it that much. It doesn't say which view the model is wearing but I'm assuming it's view C but um, the difference between these so far and view A is that there's a little bit of a sleeve on there and so yeah just a wrap dress so here is the line art in the back okay the difference that I'm seeing between C and B is it's like a double something here at the waist and there's it's like single here on C so I guess <laughs> I don't really know um, because A, B, and C are all the same length. So whatever that detail is, I guess I won't know until I actually make it. You know, um, that is the difference. And this is for woven fabrics only. Then we have New Look 6216. And once again, Martika made me do it. So Martika just made this shirt. I don't have a lot of t-shirt patterns because I used to say I am not making t-shirts. I'm not taking my time to make t-shirts. But you never say never because I have changed my mind. Uh, I changed my mind a while back after making a couple of uh, double brush poly types shirts. I'm like, well, this is basically a t-shirt and I like them. So yeah. I picked it up for that. What I like about this pattern in particular is you do not have to set in any sleeves for the top. Okay, so I, you know, like that because it kind of gives you a quick and easy project without having to set in those sleeves because that does take time and you have to put in gathering, you know, the little gathering easing stitches, I should say, to make sure that they fit properly. You don't have to do that with this. Uh, view C the P and D are the pants. And um, I like those. I don't know what the difference is yet. I'll find out when we look at the line art. Um, I'm assuming because this is rolled and this is not. Not sure. It does have these type of pockets. I guess I like the inseam pockets better. But they are cute looking. Um, so I do like that for this. And I'll probably make this uh, at least the top and the pants eventually from this pattern. Maybe make this in a ponte. But let's look at the line art in the back. So here is your line art in the back and you have view A, view B is just a shorter sleeve with like a cut, view C just doesn't have the cuff and then here is your view D. Okay so there wasn't two, there were not two views of the pants, I, there was views of the top, two views of the top. And so A, B, and C are for stretch knits only, which is basically the top views. And then view D are for cotton blends and, you know, other type of woven fabrics. So then we have New Look 6516. This is another easy pattern. And I picked it up because I kind of skip over a lot of the skirt patterns because I have several of them. But I went ahead and got this because... I don't really know why, but I do like it. I think it's cute, and I will make um, one. I like view B the most. Uh, view C kind of goes a little long <laughs> to the floor, but it's fine as well. And a, even D. View A is the one I don't particularly care for because I don't want that slit that's showing right there. But it's a cute pattern, and with those previous patterns, there were many tanks and tops that look like that, and I could get this look. And I have so many fabrics that I could use to get that, and so... Yeah, you'll definitely be seeing this. And I like the tiers. And I believe that these tiers are kind of like the crinkly ones that are exposed on the outside. And I like that look as well. So let's look at the line art. So here is your line art in the back. And this does call for the regular woven fabrics. Okay, so then we have new look 6625. And this is a nice little wardrobe building type of pattern as well. So you have two different views at the top. You have view A, which is what the model is wearing. And then you have view B that does not have 
the little ties and it also does not have sleeves and then you have view C which is the, are the pants and the, she's wearing the pants super cute so when I first looked at this pattern I thought this was like a wrap top so I was kind of nervous about it but as I looked more it's basically just like this so I think it's sewn down and then this just has that little detail over here because this part hangs on this uh, view which is view A so I don't think I have to feel nervous about it. This would be a different type of style of top that I currently don't have in my stash. So I think that would be pretty neat to get. And yeah, your pants just have your elastic waist. Super cute. As you can see, in, at least in my opinion, this is a trendy outfit. And it looks like it would be relatively easy to make. So let's go ahead and look at the line art in the back. So here is your line art in the back. As you can see, view A looks like this, and then view B. And I really love the, the different, you know, lines here for shaping as well. And this does call for woven fabrics. So this pattern right here is the look 6708. This is rated easy. I believe I have this in my stash already, but I wasn't 100% sure. And I was looking for something the other day, and I did come across this pattern. So, you know, it's no big deal. It's 99 cents, but I may kind of like give it away but I love it I love it for this right here so I would definitely make this um, when I do make it and I plan to make it this either spring or summer in a solid color to make sure that you can see the gathering effect at the sleeve now I recently saw someone's birthday post and they wore a top like that and I thought for sure it was um, this pattern but it was actually independent patterns so this is a very trending look right now and it looked absolutely wonderful on her so let me show the line art in the back so here is your line art in the back so this is a pullover and you have your little keyhole type opening right here you know with a button and this is made for uh, woven fabrics and the difference between view a and b is going to be the length of the sleeves okay so now we have new look 6616 and for whatever reason i have not purchased this pattern I don't really know why um, but the bust size for this is right at a 45 so I'm not sure if this is a woven fabric or or if it calls for woven fabric or if it's a knit but at the end of the day I can fit it I'm at the top of the scale but I can fit it I think this is super cute I love um, how the model is looking in this and I think I would make this in like a linen and then I like the fact that you have a romper view, which is view C up here, and then you also have a dress. So I don't necessarily have to make the jumpsuit if I don't feel like making a jumpsuit because we do know jumpsuit is painful <laughs> to get in and out. Um, but I absolutely love this big, huge tie belt that um, you can put on as well. So let's look at the line art. So here is the line art. And as you can see, the tie belt is attached to the actual pattern, which is very familiar with New Look. I feel like they do that a lot because I have a dress that I made and it was like that. And then there's several other, other that I've seen like that. And so this does call for woven fabrics. And so, like I said, I would make that in a linen if I were to make the jumpsuit. And then, you know, just one of my other floral fabrics if I make it in a dress. And so to help me to get rid of some of my knits, <laughs> I did pick up this pattern. I think it's super cute. I really love UC. I don't know right here if that will work out for me because I do have trouble in my tummy area but I do love view B which is what the model is wearing and it's also right here and the view C is the same except for um well yeah this is view C but this one has the tie okay so as long as I make the tie I should be okay but this would be really really good for summer coming up um, I don't know. We'll see when I turn the pattern envelope over if the length is the same between view B and view C. If it is, I think I'll be okay. But that is the reason why I picked it up. Help me to use my knits and I think that the style is cute. So here's your line art in the back and it is for woven fabrics and knits. Okay. So yeah, I can definitely use this pattern because you can use chambray cotton lawns cotton types interlock ity which is what i have a lot of and lightweight linen types and then it goes up to a 49 and a half but i would only i'm 45 but if i use my knits uh i probably shouldn't go to a 41 so i'll probably end up making the large and then making some adjustments 
And then if you didn't know, recently I just made this pattern, New Look 6626, and I made this because of, I uh, wanted to make a skirt, and this was the perfect skirt pattern for it. And I have three more that I have cut out because I really like the style of it for the look I'm going for for spring and summer. And the reason why I picked it up again is because I have lost a little bit of weight, even though all you have to do is adjust the elastic. Um, so I didn't close off the inside where the elastic was looped through because I just know that when I do lose more weight, I already had to take two inches off of the elastic from when I originally made it. But I just want to have this in my stash in case something happened to the pattern. I'll have it again. I know it works for me. It's a TNT for me when it comes down to this style. So I just wanted to have another one. For 99 cents why not all right that is it for this 99 cent new look haul i hope you enjoyed it i hope you saw some patterns that maybe you didn't see in all of the other 99 cent new look uh, hauls i didn't get there right away but when i did i was super happy that there were still some left so um yeah i'll definitely enjoy these patterns one year <laughs> i have plenty um so let me know in the comments below if you saw something that stood out to you or would which one you like the best thank you so much for watching don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video um thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your support and i'll see you in the next video bye